Newton's third law of motion says that for every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. For all of you that are sitting in your chairs, that you are uh, putting a force, your weight, on the chair. Okay, but we already said that uh, things in motion stay in motion, and you have a force, that's your weight, uh, going down on the earth. So how come you're not moving? Well, because there's an equal force that the chair is imposing on you so that you are just sitting in your chair and then there's a uh, force that the floor is imparting on you and the chair, okay? So where the chair uh, meets the floor, there's the weight of you and the chair, and then there's an equal uh, force that the earth places upon the chair so that you don't move, okay? Because the forces have to equal out. This is a big bag of water, and in uh, NASA, NASA terms, we call this a uh, big bag of water, okay, big bag of water, and it's heavy, or it would be heavy on the ground. It's massive up here on, on uh, in space, okay, it has a lot of mass because it's got a lot of water. It's probably, I think it's like 20 liters, maybe five, five gallons of water, and uh, so it weighs a little bit more than one of those big water things that, uh, that you get drinking water out of, okay, that's pretty heavy. So, but, of course, here in space, it just floats like everything else floats, like I float, okay? But this probably weighs a third of what I weigh. So let's do a little demonstration and see what happens, okay? Okay, so what happened there? I pushed away the water. And I was I lifted my feet, so I was floating, and uh, it went away with the speed, and I went away with the speed because when I pushed, um, that action had an equal and opposite reaction on me. So the force that we pushed the water off, I used the same force to push myself back. Okay, but I went slower because I have more mass than the water. When you get into a little bit deeper into uh, the, the the equations of motion, you can figure out that I, if the bag weighed one third of what I weigh, I guess that's about right, then I probably moved away with one third less velocity than the bag did. The bag probably had three times the velocity that I did. Um, but that's a, probably in a little bit more advanced uh, physics than, than the simple three laws of motion. And this is how rockets work. What rockets do is they throw out their propellant. Propellant is really heavy. And like when the shuttle is on the launch pad, the shuttle and its rockets weigh about four and a half million pounds, but the um, but the shuttle itself only weighs about a quarter of a million pounds. Okay, so that's uh, what is that? Uh, many times <laughs> four four sixteen twenty about twenty times uh, more propellant than there is shuttle. So uh, all that mass uh, gets used to propel the shuttle into orbit. And uh, what it does is the rocket engines um, create combustion and it spits out the mass of that propellant out the back of those engines. And that mass pushes, and that force pushes the shuttle into space. And that's how rockets work. 